recording me editing a photo my next Instagram post which is a top-down photo of my Lexus with my friend's drone so these are from a shoot that we did with a group of other Lexuses and my friend had a drone and I was like hey you should take a top-down photo like a top-down photo view of my car because it looks cool he has like the Mavic 2 Pro basically makes a <laughs> Tejan <laughs> that was pixelated, shots out my shirt off. Ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah. One of the reasons that I like this set of photos is because the car has like such wide wheels and camber that you can see the wheels from the top of the car, which is pretty fun to see. I also think you can see how much toe that I need to get rid of in my alignment. When I edit a photo, I have a few presets that I made myself. I, I don't I don't buy presets, I make them myself. So I, sometimes I go through these and see which one I like. Sometimes I even surprise myself. So I have like a, an Instagram edit that I tend to use for like portraits and stuff. And then I have a couple car edit ones that are specifically for, for cars. I even have one for my IS350, oh. which for some reason is not showing up right now. It just turns up the red tones. Every time I edit a photo, I start with the crop. If I'm doing it for Instagram, which is most of my photos, I always do a four or five crop, which takes up most of the iPhone screen, so it's taller than it is wider. I like symmetry. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not sure how to rotate the photo, but I kinda wanna figure it out. Hmm, photo rotate. Learn something new every day. So I'm gonna rotate this photo. Rotate left. Ah. Ooh. I think I might do it the other way, actually. Huh. I don't know if I like that either. I might just uh, crop it sideways. The other two rotate, it looked look weird. I don't like that. So, now we got it rotated the right way and cropped the right way. I just go top down as far as editing, get the temperature right, which. Personally, I'd like to do the temperature a little warmer and then as I get down farther I'll take out the oranges and the yellows because I'm not a fan of oranges, yellows, or greens, and most blues depending on the blue. So as you see here, I have quite a bit of warmth on here but I'll go down and take down some of the yellows which as you can see gets rid of a lot of the yellow in the concrete, not now iCloud. I might reveal this secret later, but not right now. This is a secret I have in mind that I learned from someone reliable. Usually I don't mess with the whites or the highlights. Most of the time I don't. One thing that I do like to do when I am shooting physically, I like to shoot photo overexposed, and then when I get it in, into post, I'll bring the exposure down. So it ends up, this one specifically actually ended up being pretty fucking tight. So as far as my edits, I just crop, straighten out, a little warmer. I mean, photo by photo is, is different as far as exposure. Most time for car photos, I'll do the contrast a little bit higher, and then like I said, highlights and sh highlights and whites, I usually I try not to touch for the most part, and then taking the shadows up, and the blacks down, the same positive to negative ratio. Do the saturation up and the vibrance down. Clarity, I go like plus 10 or so, kind of gives that concrete like a wildly aggressive feel. Tone curve, I really don't mess with a bunch, maybe a little bit up and down like that. Hues, I mean, different for each photo. Especially for my red car photo, I like to change the hues a little bit to take everything that isn't red, red. I don't want any weird tones on my car. To get rid of that warmth, I'll take the yellows and oranges down a little bit to kind of get rid of that to make the concrete or asphalt as dark and menacing as possible. It's not really blues in this photo, but I usually take the blues, I always take the blues down a little bit unless I'm wearing like jeans or something. And then I don't mess with lumin luminance much. Make the car a little darker if, it, uh, if it's looking a little bright, which I, whoa. Some of these can get really aggressive if you go too far, but this one's actually looking really cool. Split toning, I won't do anything here. Sharpening, yeah, a little on, on the car. Noise reduction, depending on the photo. Other than that, that's about it, to be honest. End up to be a pretty cool photo, actually. Um, shout out to Peyton for taking these photos and sending them my way. My next purchase is gonna be a drone, because I really want a drone. You can get some really, really wacky shots of perspectives that you just can't see normally. So that's my next purchase, is a drone. So I can get shots like this. Thanks for tuning in to Drinking and Editing with Jesse.
I'll see how this one works out as far as editing goes on YouTube and see if people like it or have questions or want help or if they're like, wow, you're terrible at it. I like photos, they're fun to edit, they're fun to take, so. Or, oh, like and subscribe. <laughs>